thank you for reaching out and allowing me to share this with you. There's only like four people that know this story, but I'm happy to share it. You know, everything that's led up to this point and what it's taken to get here, it really didn't hit me till the last couple of days. But I grew up in, in front of a screen. You know, I lived a block away from a video store, Viking Video, and I didn't really have any guidance. And so I learned how to be a human. I learned how to cope with change and, and pain and just everything that goes with just living in this world through movies. And when I was 11, I think it was like fifth grade, we had an assignment, we had to make a movie and I was camera operator. You know, I, at this point I have giant grandpa glasses and high waters and I wore vests. For some reason, my mom thought that vests were a good fashion choice. So I was clearly tasked with just doing the bare minimum. I didn't like how it was going. And so I remember, and mind you at this time, I'm a very shy child. I don't talk, I don't take risks. I'm in my bubble, but I went home and I spent that whole evening writing a script and making costumes and went back the next day and basically just took over. And that was the moment, that was the epiphany that everyone talks about where they're like, they have that realization of what they want to do. And that was it for me. And I was like, I want to make movies. You know, as time goes on, you're like, well, that's a dream. You know, how, how is that even possible? And so it wasn't until 16 and I saw this film called Clerks and it changed my life. It was late at night, a friend put it on and I was about to fall asleep and then I was just captivated because I'm watching this movie, but it's almost like I'm watching these people through a window because they talk and they act like my friends. And Kevin Smith inspired me. If you want something, if you want to be a filmmaker, if you have stories, you can tell them. And it was tunnel vision after that. And I uh, started writing and, you know, doing little skits with friends. And at 20, I got accepted in the Seattle Film Institute, but I couldn't afford it. So I go back home and I have the plan to, to work for a year, build my credit up, get some money. But life had other things in mind. And I met my son's mother and got married and had Isaac and that fulfilled another dream. Being a father is the greatest job and thing in this world. But still, I struggled so much with depression and just being lost and I couldn't hold down a job. You know, I was just daydreaming and I feel like I was wasting my time. So fast forward to this year, July, I'm working a job for, you know, maybe three months and I'm not happy. I do too much. I'm underpaid and I get fired for the first time. It wasn't my lowest point because I've had some really deep lows, but I was just like, well, what do I do now? And that same drive that came over me when I was 11 and ran home to write that script and to make those costumes came over me. And I decided that I wasn't going to spend any more days of my life just daydreaming because like the worst thing ever is to grow old and have regret that you didn't go after something. We've only got one chance at this life. And so I get fired and three weeks later, I'm in film school, the Los Angeles Film School. And that first month I do two short films and the second short film is The Twerker. It came from my love of 90s club music. And I always just think of funny things to, to make myself laugh. Nobody else needs to laugh, but it has to make me laugh. And, you know, we had an assignment due and I went home and I wrote the script in an hour and four days later it was done, shot and filmed in my friend Ryan and Joe's backyard. And my teacher, she loved it. It wasn't until I watched my other classmates and my teacher watch that film that I realized that it was good because I am my own worst critic and they motivated me to enter it into a festival. And the fact that it won is just still so surreal and unbelievable. Come January, I'll be splitting my time up between Richland in Los Angeles. I'll go there three days a week, every week, and I'll graduate in January of 2023. But right now I'm working on two scripts. One is done. It's called The Book. It's going to shoot in the spring of next year. And the other one is a mockumentary. And I plan to film both of those at various locations in Yakima. One thing that I didn't mention is, is in the middle of being married, I saw an article about a movie shooting in the Yakima Valley. And it was called Cement Suitcase. And I reached out to the director, Rick, on Facebook and didn't hear anything back. And then months later, come to find out it went to his other inbox and the movie had already wrapped. We started a correspondence. We just started talking about movies. And I remember helping him promote Cement Suitcase, hanging up posters. Isaac was maybe not even, not even two. And I remember Rick going in to get coffee and me in the back of my car changing Isaac's diaper. And we just built this friendship. And then when he did all sorts, I, 
I came on as a prop master and got to act in it. And if I don't meet Rick, I don't think that I am where I am because he inspired me so much. He's someone from the Valley. His friendship is so valuable to me and I don't think he'll ever know that how much he really means to me. He just motivated me and pushed me to go out and find my own art and we're doing it and it's crazy and I'm just excited for this journey and one thing that I want to do, I want to do the same thing that Rick does and I don't want to forget where I came from. I want to include the Valley and you know, if I have friends that are acting or friends that are doing music, you know, it's it's a collaboration, you know, I want to bring them in and, and do things together. I'm a person that's really hard on myself and I tend to not appreciate moments because I'm all about what's next and how I can do it better. But this has just been a crazy whirlwind experience. And I think back to all those moments that led to this and it's, uh, it's pretty unbelievable. So thank you for letting me share my story with you. And yeah.